just landed in the Granada airport, so it's an hour and five minutes uh, flight from Barcelona. So the next thing for me to do now is to find a carousel where I can get the luggage and then head back to city center. I am going to take the aero bus or the airport bus because that's the easier option for me. You can also take a cab. I bet I guess around 30 to 35 euros. Or you can take a um, you can book a pickup service, which is going to be more expensive. But uh, yeah, those are your other options. So when when I get back, I'll show you how to go to that airport bus and then the city center and to the hotel. So my hotel is about just a minute walk from the stop of the airport bus, so it's very convenient for me to take that option. Okay, so let's head to the carousel to get my luggage and when I come back, hopefully, I'll be able to find the airport uh, bus that will take me to the city center and to my hotel. Okay, so there you go. Here is the baggage area, so we're just gonna wait for my luggage. There's only two carousels, so that will be an easy one to find. Okay, so the luggage started coming out. I'm just gonna wait for my luggage and then we are going to head to find the airport bus that goes to the city center to my hotel, which is the Hotel Anakapoy. Okay, so I found my luggage. We are now going to exit to go to the bus that will take us to the city center. So I was told to just go here and then turn right and then the right and then the bus is labeled as Alsa that's the one that goes to the city center so where is there you go Aeropuerto Alsa Granada so that's the one We found it, it's easy because it's a small place unlike the uh, Barcelona. Perfect. So when I return, hopefully I'll already be in the hotel. So, hi guys, so I'm at Granada finally. So, let me show you where my hotel is. So, from the airport, I took the aero bus which is 3, do, 3 uh, euro and the bus stops right there so from there I just have to walk across the street in this street straight ahead so it's basically just like one or two minutes walk it's really really very close it's uh, I'm really happy with my choice with this hotel and it close it's close to attractions and to what I need to see and another good thing about it there's so many cafes and restaurants here so in this I just have to turn right and then there you are you see it maybe you, you cannot see it clearly yet but it says there Hotel Anna Capri that's the hotel where I'm staying that's the hotel where I'm staying so this is the one. So you can see, it's 
a pretty cool nice place I mean it's not a modern one but it's it's uh, clean and cozy yeah so look at this so this is the the lobby that's the reception and they have here a lounge area the lounge area and I am just waiting for my room to be available I was told that in about 20 minutes so what I'm gonna do now is just head out to get a lunch and then when I come back I'm gonna show you my room okay so let's go out on the restaurant and explore Granada and eat <laughs> So I found a, a small bakery because right now the the restaurants are still closed because apparently they eat lunch here late so I guess I have to to make to, to just settle for the pastry for now to get me through until lunch time. So let's see what I'm getting. I think I'm gonna try the empanadas. Something that's not sweet because as if you notice my, my voice is kind of husky because my source I have a sore throat and I have a cough so something sweet something that I have to avoid so let's get some empanadas instead okay so I ended up getting a beef empanada for now and then I'll walk around to see what else I can try but I'm waiting for my room to be available so let's try this Pastry was kind of flaky. Mm, it's okay. It's um, one euro and fifty cents for one piece. Okay, so this is the room. It's uh, yeah, it's old and dated, but it's clean. So, and it's pretty decent. Great location. <clears throat> Walking distance to most of the attractions. So. I mean, why not? Let's see, and it has its own washroom, which is one of my requirements.